Hey, this is Mike, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to set your privacy settings and invite people to look at your blog on blogger.com. Um, so the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll need to um, log into blogger.com and log in with your William & Mary username and password. Um, and you should get to the dashboard of your site. Now, uh, here I'm looking at Mike's course blog, uh, which I created in the last video and you'll notice I have all these options. I can create a new post, and if I look down here, I can change the theme, and I'm gonna to go to Settings. So I'll click on the Settings button here, and you'll notice I've got the blog address listed here. Um, I've got some other information that I'm not really that concerned about, and one of the things you'll see is the permissions area. If you want the blog readers to be just anyone in the world, you can see you can change the setting from private and click edit and make the blog public and then everyone will have access to it and then if I scroll down um, I can hit save changes and you'll notice that now it's a public blog I can also add people as authors if I'd like them to edit the blog and I can click on add authors here and I can just invite the authors and I'm gonna cancel that um, if you're going to add authors um, or blog readers, you're going to want to use their at email.wm.edu address. So I'll just click on edit here, and I can make it private only to authors or private to only readers of the blog. And I'll click on private only these readers, and I can now add readers. And you'll notice I have two open invitations because I invited two people to look at it, but they haven't... Um, accepted the invitation yet. I can click Add Readers, and I can just add, I'm adding my friend Pablo here, and I'll say Save Changes. And he's already one of the people who I invited. If I click on Two Open Invitations, you'll see, and I can add as many people as I'd like. Um, and it's as simple as that. Once they get the invitation, they'll get an email, and then they can just click on the link, and it'll take them right to uh, the blog, either to read it, in the case of blog readers, or to edit it in the case of blog authors. Um, and that's all you need to do.